All right, everyone, welcome back. Today, we're here with a nice, simple Halo one-to-one -one scale tutorial. And this is on the Covenant Brute Prowler, as seen in Halo 3. And it's one of the smallest one-to-one -one scale Covenant things that we've got. And we've recently, well, not recently, we have already done the Brute Prowler in two-to-one scale, which was this one here, which looks pretty nice. Obviously, this one's just a bit more in scale and a bit more size accurate to how it is in the game. And I think it came out quite nicely. Only small downside, I think, is the fact that you cannot get a gunner in this seat here without kind of sitting like this and being a bit too high up. Uh, and you probably don't look quite right from from the uh, side or anything like that. But then the driver's seat is here as well. Uh, you can, again, sort of sit in it, but not quite. But at least you do have that space there, uh, just in case. And if you do want to fit the driver in, you can just remove this carpet. Um, but that's kind of more there for the kind of detail rather than the practicality. So hopefully I will be back soon with a larger Halo build and also a larger Star Wars one. I've got a bit more time to record this week, so I'll get those out as soon as I can. But for today, yeah, let's uh, crack on with this build. We're probably just going to do it all in one take because it's not uh, a big build whatsoever. You know, it can be done quite quickly. So yeah, let's just uh, crack on with it. So starting off the build, I'm going to use these materials to start with. The cyan terracotta, the polished andesite stairs, and the polished deep slate slab. Smooth stone slab, stone brick wall, iron bars, birch fence gate, iron trap door, and lever as well. The red line is the back of the build, the green line is the front. The grey lines represent the width, and this solid line, well dotted line, down the centre is the centre of the width. So anything that goes on the left also goes on the right, kind of mirrors over like that. Yeah, let's uh, start off with the cyan terracotta. We're just going to do one of these anywhere on the ground. Uh, probably not going to build this thing up in the air um, because it's not really a... Uh, unless you want to have it flying off a ledge or something. More of a ground-based thing for the most part. Two top-half polished deep slate slabs on the front and then one on the back. So like that. All right. And then we're going to take the cyan again. Just do one on top here. Upside down polished stair on the front. Iron trap door here. And then I'm just going to take the smooth stone slabs, do one there, one there as well, one there, and one there as well. Okay, we're going to get rid of the cyan terracotta now. I've got a few single use materials here, which we're just going to do and get out of the way. So there's going to be a blast furnace on this cyan here and then an observer just on this block in between we've got the stone brick walls now one on the cyan one on the blast furnace and then iron bars on the observer so again one two and three again just the material we're going to use once here is the uh, the birch sign just one there on the stair and one there as well Get the birch fence gate where the iron trap door is, one and two, and one. That's a nice stupid way. There we go, one and two like that. You want to flip them outwards. Uh, so, not that way, you want to have them that way. And that one as well. Go. Is it not going to do it? Oh, come on. There we go. And again, flip these ones. There we go, like that. But you want them facing outwards. Smooth stone slab top half next to those, so like that. And again. Polished stair upside down here. And then just a normal one there as well. Now on this corner here, I've used a skeleton skull, but it can just be left off or you can replace it with another smooth stone slab. But it's basically just at a 45 degree angle, facing inwards like this. And it just helps to taper that bit there over to that set of slabs. Take the levers now, one and one here. And again, one, one there as well. But just facing each other, one on the stair, one on the slab. Now I'm just gonna switch a few of the materials out. So get rid of the iron bars and stone brick walls. And you can get rid of the polished stairs as well. Uh, you can get rid of these slabs, keep the smooth stone one. I'm gonna get the polished deep slate stair gonna get the birch fence gate. It's gonna be 
bit of an order here. There we go. Uh, get the light grey carpet, the stone button, and the grindstone as well. That's an important one. We need a few of these. So there's two grindstones in this gap. Two there as well. Both of the arms should be facing towards the middle of the build. Get the stone button just on this remaining slab on the front. Like that. Now I'm going to put a polished deep sight stairs here, but I'm just going to knock this block out. And get the lever, put it on the underneath, and then flip that. So it looks like this. Dark oak fence gate there, flip it. Light grey carpet on top. Dark oak fence gate on the back and you're just going to leave that as it is. Put the smooth stone slab on top of the observer. The dark oak fence gate here and then flip it. And you want the grindstone on the front for the turret, but you're going to flip it kind of backwards so the arms are facing towards the front of the build. It doesn't quite connect, but from most angles it, it looks, looks alright. Um, it's just due to the scale really. Final thing here is a dark oak trap door. And I think that does it. So I'm going to put the shaders on now, do a quick showcase of it in those, and we'll be back in a second. So this is how it looks in the shaders. This is the complementary shaders, so you've got those lovely reflections in the, in the uh, glass. That's great. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, that's basically going to be it. Like I said, it was a nice, quick tutorial. Um, and like I said, next time we're back with hopefully a slightly larger one for Halo. Because I know uh, the last few have been quite small. But then, it's not been that many videos in Star Wars since the uh, Separatist Dreadnought, which was quite a massive one. So maybe wait a little longer before the next big Star Wars one. But yeah, that's going to be everything. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. And goodbye. Hey guys, before the video ends, I just wanted to let you know about my new schematic store. This is a place where you can download builds from the past, from tutorials that are out now, and even preview builds from the future. Link is in the description, go and have a look, see if there's anything you like, and yeah, see ya.